is Artastic and in this tutorial we're going to use food coloring to make colors. So we're going to turn our food coloring, whatever you got, we're going to take it, turn it into some watercolor paint and mix it to make secondary colors. Let's get started. Nation, we're going to be um, experimenting with some household food items to create a color wheel. Today for an at-home find color wheel, you're going to need some food coloring. So I happen to have um, some food coloring. I have blue, red, and yellow. That's all you need for this. Um, something to draw with because we're going to add a character on our piece and then just some containers that have water. You can just use a bowl or a glass and add just a little bit of water in the bottom. It's just food coloring so we'll, you can just easily wash this out later. Okay? You're also going to need some paper that's thick enough um, and a paintbrush. First, we're going to draw um, a little character holding some balloons and the balloons will eventually be the colors that we're going to mix for our colors and our color wheel. Okay, so um, we're going to draw just a cute little, ooh, let's do a mouse today. We're going to draw a circle, so an oval, and from that oval we can draw another oval. That just comes off. So that one's basically like the letter C. And then in those two circles, we're going to add pupils for our mouse. From between the nose, we're gonna draw a triangle up that leads to another little triangle at the bottom. And then we're gonna add our mouse's nose. From between the eyes, we're gonna curve up, out towards a point and back down. And then we're gonna draw just a little bottom of the mouth. You can also give your mouse some whiskers if you would like. Next, we're gonna draw the ears. So around that point, we're gonna draw a nice almost circle and another one. And then in that first ear, draw another circle. So now your mouse has two ears. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the back. So curve a line down. We're going to do kind of a zigzaggy letter C there for the uh, back thigh. And then I like to do toes with some big letter C's. And we can connect that to the body. I'm also going to add a little paw just like that. Now you also want to add some limbs and feet in the behind. and a tail. Okay, now we're ready to add some strings. And these are gonna lead up to some balloons. Okay. I'm gonna, before I finish off these strings, I'm gonna draw some balloons. So I'm gonna lay out the primary color balloons. Okay, so we can think about them as this being going to be red, uh, yellow, blue, doesn't matter which way, we're just gonna experiment with mixing colors at our house and then this guy will mix colors to make purple. We'll mix colors to make green. And we'll mix colors to make orange. Okay, so you can draw some lines leading up to these other balloons. And we are ready to get painting.
Okay, so before we can begin painting, we need to mix up our color. So I'm just going to move this guy to the side just for now. And I'm going to show you how I mix them. So I'm going to have a few glasses of water. I just happen to have some dip trays or bowls at home. And then I'm going to get my food coloring. Now it would be really, really good if you have food coloring that comes in those little squirt jars, okay? But I don't happen to have any um, at home, so I have to use uh, the jelly looking stuff. I don't know. I'm not really sure what it's called. I don't <laughs> bake, so I just need a little bit because food coloring is potent. So I have my blue first and I'm going to add that into my bowl and you can see already it's basically turning into watercolor paint. So this is like a really great way to make watercolor paint at home. However, you don't want to get this on your clothing or your hands. My hands got stained just opening the packages. So please make sure that you either wear gloves or do this on some scrap paper like you can see I have down. This is just paper I use and reuse over and over. Okay, so we got blue paint. Now we're gonna get some red out. Again, just a little, little bit, which is why I'm using my knife. Okay, we'll mix that into the water. Make some red paint. Just doing a little bit at a time because I don't know how much I need. So I think I can add just a bit more to make a darker red. Okay, now it's easy to add, but it's not easy to take away food coloring out of water. Once it's in there, you're kind of, that's it. So you want to make sure you just add a little bit at a time. Okay, so we're done with the red. Last is yellow. Hopefully this is yellow. It looks like orange. It says yellow. Oh, it is yellow. That's cool. There we go. That is very yellow. Ooh, look at that. We got some perfect primary colors that we can use as some watercolor paint. Okay, make sure you put all the lids on your food coloring before continuing and get them out of your way so they don't accidentally spill anywhere. Now I'm gonna move these guys to the side and I'm gonna bring back my mouse. Okay, so I got my mouse colored. You can color yours however you want. And now we gotta paint some balloons. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my primaries first. So I'm gonna add blue paint onto the blue balloon. In between colors, you now make sure that you rinse your brush well in some water. So over on the side here where you can't see, I just simply have rinsed off my brush. Okay, I'm going to paint the red balloon. And last is the yellow. Okay, so now we gotta mix our colors. Because my brush already has yellow on it, I'm gonna go over to where I'm gonna put the orange. I'm gonna add yellow where I'm gonna have orange. 
and also yellow where I'm going to have green. Okay, now I'm going to mix red with the orange, or sorry, the yellow to make orange. And I'm going to keep mixing, keep mixing until it becomes orange. Okay. Then I'm going to rinse my brush. Ooh, actually, since I have red, I should probably put some red where that purple's going to be. There we go. Okay. Now I can rinse my brush. And now I'm going to reach for my blue. Okay. I'm going to add it to green. So I'm going to mix it right on the paper with the yellow paint. And boom! We got some green. I'm also going to take my blue. I'm going to mix it with the red. And this will make a version of purple. Purple is just one of those colors that never quite comes out the way you um, you think about it we tend to think of purple as this but sometimes when we mix purple with other mediums i mean it is purple it's a version of purple it's just not the pretty version like that which is this is a rose pink anyways but you get my point okay so that is our food coloring color wheel. And if I slide this up, and if I zoom out, you can see what it all looks like. Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to this channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com or find creative, high-quality art resources for teachers in my TPT store. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.